If we create a person struct with two properties, name and email, we get a default memberwise initializer. So we can just initialize a person with a name and an email, and then we have a person value. And we can also add a custom initializer to parse JSON. So this is a failable initializer, and it takes a JSON dictionary. Then it tries to read out the name from the dictionary and the email from the dictionary. And if one of the two is missing, we'll just return nil. Now we have both the name and the email, and we can assign them. So the problem with this is that we now lost our default memberwise initializer. Um, to get it back, we can take this custom initializer and move it into an extension. And now we have access to the default memberwise initializer as well as to our custom initializer. For more videos about Swift, check out Swift Talk on talk.objectivec.io.